Please welcome the chair of this year's annual meeting planning committee and wealth management advisor for the McQuaid Network Office in Chicago, Illinois, Steve Braun. Good morning, Northwestern Mutual! It is my pleasure to welcome you to Milwaukee and to Northwestern Mutual's 137th annual meeting. It has been my privilege to serve on your annual meeting planning committee for the last three years. And it is my honor to be your chairperson for today. We are going to have a great meeting. Are you ready to rock and roll with me? And speaking of rock and roll, how was last night's party? Was that fun? I hope you enjoyed it. As we begin, I would like to welcome someone who I have the, the opportunity to work with every day, who makes my job easier. David Gordon Johnson. He's my sales assistant in Chicago, affiliated with McQuaid Network Office. David will now perform the national anthem. Please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, David. Thank you for sharing your talent with us this morning. I'd like to begin by sharing a personal story. Over the course of the last month, I've been cleaning out my basement. And I came across some notes I writ, wrote 31 years ago describing why I wanted to join Northwestern Mutual. I was moving out of a career in advertising and I knew in my heart that I wanted to have a greater impact on people's lives than selling more mufflers, airline tickets, and cigarettes. I narrowed it down to a career in sales, and I started to explore this industry. And through a college fraternity brother, I found Northwestern Mutual, and I am so grateful. I probably had 20 reasons that I wrote down on this piece of paper but let me just share four of them with you. First, I wanted to meet my single living economic needs, like pay my bills. And in the future, I wanted to support a family, save for college, and eventually have a secure retirement. Next, I wanted to own my own destiny. I wanted a career without a ceiling on my income, and I wanted to know that my success was dependent on how hard I was willing to work. 
Next, I wanted to commit to an industry and to a company that I had respect for, one that had morals and values that match mine. And then I wanted to fill an honest need, selling a product and providing a service that had legitimate purpose and value. I chose right 31 years ago. But here's my real message. For those of you who are new to the company, I want to reassure you that you've made the right choice too. There aren't, there aren't many companies out there that have the values, integrity, and client focus that Northwestern Mutual has. Now, uh, talking about client focus, again, in the last few weeks, I, I had an opportunity to work with a client who trusted me enough to work with his mother, which then resulted in a conversation with the family CPA. The CPA was a former executive of Arthur Anderson, so he was pretty familiar with Northwestern Mutual. Here's the compliment that he shared with us that I want you to hear. I've always respected working with you and your colleagues because I've always found Northwestern Mutual reps to be highly intelligent and client-focused. I like this part. Long before financial planning became a buzzword, you were ahead of the curve, and you were always completely focused on the client. That's why I like working with Northwestern Mutual, that's why I feel comfortable working with you, and that's why I trust your recommendations. How great is that? See, it's one thing to hear our value proposition and our uniqueness from senior management. It feels better when you hear it from the client, and in this case, the center of influence. So the CPA mentioned trust. Simon Sinek has taught us that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. The client connects with you, trusts you when you have a deeper purpose. So, while it's fun to come back to Milwaukee and reunite with friends from the field in the home office, our real opportunity in the next few days is to re-anchor ourselves with our purpose and the value we provide to our clients. So, this is a big year for Northwestern Mutual. The company is 160 years strong and growing. We are celebrating 50 years of our college intern program. This, of course, has been an important part of how we've grown our sales force and our field leadership. Next, <clears throat> it's the 20th anniversary of Northwestern Mutual Forum. Our most elite field honor. And finally, this year is also the 140th anniversary of the Association of Network Representatives. So for 140 years, our association has been critical to fostering a strong relationship between the home office and the field. So our theme this year is Accelerate Together. It's both symbolic of our history and critical for our future. So your planning committee, in designing this year's meeting, decided to have a focus and a theme for each day of the meeting. Today's theme is about the company. Tomorrow, it's about our relationships with our clients. And then Wednesday, the focus is on you. Over the next three days, we have some incredible outside speakers. Today, we're going to hear from a couple, Nick and Joan Murray. They're going to share their personal experience, what it means to have a partner in the business, and how having a strong support system makes this career easier, more predictable, and ultimately more rewarding. Tomorrow, you're going to hear from an internationally acclaimed public speaker, Mickey Williams, who is a policyholder. She's going to share her story of perseverance and how owning every product 
that we have to offer allows her to sleep better at night. And you don't want to miss Wednesday. Wednesday, we have two outside speakers. The first is Sean Stevenson, where he might come in a small package. He's got a powerful message. And that message is there is no room for self-pity. And then finally, we're going to finish with Tim Grover. He's the author of Relentless. I imagine some of you have read his book. If I told you <clears throat> that Tim has trained the likes of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Dwayne Wade, would I get your attention? He will share with us how focus will help you achieve your biggest goals. So lastly, <clears throat> when the planning committee talked about what a successful meeting would feel like, this is what we came up with. When you leave here, you have a renewed conviction for the quality of the company you represent. You are better connected to the needs of our clients and how to serve them, and you are motivated, energized, and confident that you will have the skills to dominate in the marketplace. We've got a great meeting for you. To get started, let's watch this short mission moment. My introduction to Rebecca came at a um, real crossroads in my life, and she was like an angel. She was more worried about how I was doing and how Northwestern could help me manage through the pain and the drama that was going on in my life and be financially okay. She said, you know, Tom, I'd like you to think about developing some memories for yourself and maybe with your children. Think about maybe going somewhere once a year. It has allowed us to create memories, memories that the kids will have when I'm no longer here. That's just invaluable. Dear Rebecca and team, congratulations on your new office home. You and your team have been providing investment guidance for me for the last three years plus and have surpassed my expectations in every facet of our relationship. I wanted to do something for you and your team to celebrate I found exactly what I was looking for. This piece, wherever you should decide to place it, for me represents what you, your team, and Northwestern provides through their services, namely strength, protection, and growth captured by the tree of life. Warmest regards, Tom Nicholson. I'm so humbled by it. He appreciates what we do. He finds value in what we do. And then it allows me to go home and put my head on my pillow at night and know that what we did, we've impacted somebody for the better. I think this video we just saw serves as a great reminder of the important work we do and the impact we can have. Thank you, Rebecca for that great work you are doing for allowing us to share your story and to kick off our meeting. <clears throat>